a pregnant woman, a three-year-old and a four-year-old are among those injured from a massive house fire. In all, five people were sent to the hospital, though family members tell us all five have been released. And now, BGE crews are trying to figure out if there was an explosion inside the home that made the damage and injuries worse. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager is live at the scene for us tonight with the latest on what they found. And Jeff, have crews been able to rule anything out? Well, Jamie, if indeed it was a gas explosion which ignited this fire, BGE is backing away saying it had nothing to do with anything on their side of the equation. And for now, the cause of this fire remains undetermined. Witnesses reported hearing it from blocks away. It's a really, really loud bang noise. And early reports suggested it may have been a gas explosion, which fueled the fire. I was told it was started from a, a cigarette, and someone lit a cigarette in the home, and uh, basically the explosion happened. But all it is known for sure is the level of devastation and injury that the three-alarm fire left in its wake here in the 4600 block of Lanier Avenue. It was heavy fire showing it and what appears to be like perhaps um, at least five homes that were involved. Unfortunately, we did have some civilians or residents that were occupying the home at the time. They were injured. We had a total of three adults and two children that were transported to area hospitals in serious condition. BGE crews remained on the scene overnight inspecting their gas lines and they've not found any leaks or ruptures leading up to the row homes meter. We have not found any issues with BGE equipment. Typically what that indicates is that there may have been a problem inside one of the buildings with customer equipment. Again, it's still, still too early to say that definitively. Now, BGE has also gone back and reviewed its records, looking for any calls reporting the smell of a, a gas odor, of a gas leak in this area. They've gone back 12 months they haven't found a single call. Reporting live in Northwest Baltimore, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News. All right, Jeff, thank you.